Hello students, welcome to the video lecture class of production technology. Today's, all, uh, in the previous class already we completed about your arc welding processes and the electrodes what you are using uh, for arc welding process and the uh, about their detail specifications. Today we will start with a, another welding process which is named as resistance welding. So first of all let us discuss about the definition. Actually resistance welding is a group of welding process where fusion is produced by the heat obtained from resistance of the work to the flow of electric current in a circuit of which the work is a part and by the application of pressure. Here in resistance welding, no filler, filler material is needed. You can see by using this slide, I made you understand here it is written that H equal to I square RT. What does it mean? Actually, there are two main factors responsible for resistance welding. Number one, the generation of heat of the place where two pieces are to be joined. Number two, the application of pressure of the place where a weld joint is to be formed. The heat generated in the weld may be expressed by this equation for H equal to I square RT where H is the heat, I is the current, R is the resistance of the assembly and T is the time duration of the current. So, here in resistance welding, in the first class already we go through the classification of welding. We are, first of all, we are having two types of welding. One is fusion welding in the plastic state and another one is resistance welding. Here we start about the resistance welding. So, the resistance welding is work, it is a fusion welding process. Now, it is work like here the, as per the definition. So, here we are having some resistance welding is one of the oldest of the electric welding process in used by different manufacturing industry today. The welding process is made by a combination of heat, pressure and time. Here in the resistance welding process, all these three parameters heat, pressure and time. All these three parameters is very important to determine the strength of the welding. We can say we can easily join two materials in the by using resistance welding process. So, this number you can see how much current can flow is determined by a number of factors. That means we are discussing about the current I, I. Uh, that means the current. So, that current can be flow is determined by a number of factors. What are the factors? Include, which include the material thickness. That means the thickness of the material what we can want to join. Number two, material resistivity. How much resistivity of the material? Then number three, current level. The, the, what are the current uh, value? Then last, cross-sectional area of the electrode, tips and contact surface. So, these are the factors which is plays a vital role in the resistance welding process. So, some more points in the resistance welding process. Material having higher thermal conductivity is difficult to weld in resistance welding. So, 
the material which generally you learn about the different types of material also where in material science you go through it that means in materials those, those in those material which are having higher therm thermal conductivity is difficult to weld next so we have to give higher heat concentration on them for example you can take some non ferrous material like aluminium and copper next the strength of the weld is depends on the surface roughness cleanness of the metal surface that means the you can say the welding surface must be clean before welding here in the last point it is clearly mentioned oil films paints oxide layers should be removed before welding so before your welding starting of this welding process you have to clean all these things thereafter you can go through the welding process so here we come to the different types of welding resistance welding process again you can see in this slide you are already having spot welding seam welding projection welding and flash welding and another one welding is there that is known as butt welding that means flash and butt are two different type of welding process here in this slide these are combined so you can write flash welding and another also butt welding now you can see in this figure you can find here now you see we are having two plates here and these plates we are applying current onto this so current is passing from this to this and here again from anode you can see anode to cathode and cathode to anode so the heat pressure is how here heat is maximum so due to that this area is get fused and when this area is get fused we are applying the pressure so that these are sticked with each other and after allowed to solidify we can find the weld so now we start about the first resistance welding process which is named as spot welding and for the examination point of view this spot welding is very much important also so it is used for joining two or more sheets of metal that means we will talk about your resistance weld uh, spot welding process the sheet to be weld are held overlapping between the two electrodes one movable and other is fixed heavy current is passed through the electrode and thereafter pressure is applied for the top electrode may be moving it downward the fun the fusion of the metal takes place at the spot the sheet is then moved to have another spot weld at the desired place the time period of each weld may be 1 to 100 of the second or more so this is the figure so first of all as per your definition is concerned the spot welding is a resistance welding process in which overlapping sheets here you can see two overlapping sheets here is one another one overlapping sheets are joined by local fusion here you are applying the pressure here we are applying the heat also in this here fusion at one or more spot by the heat generated due to resistance to flow current through the workpiece held together under force by two electrode here you are using two electrode one is here another one is here in spot welding spot welding is to be join overlapping strips so you are here you are having as per the equipment is concerned you are having a transformer that is here it is written ac ac type transformer and that by using this here we are having two jaw here is the fixed jaw and this one is your movable jaw so these are the uh, we are having the workpiece which is having lap type joint when the one is placed another the uh, another up top of it here we are using two copper electrode in the here and in this position in this po two position so uh, as per your working spot welding is to be join overlapping sheets and plates to be metal of Uh, small areas the pieces assembled in an overlapping manner and 
placed between two electrodes made by copper and or by copper alloys. A low, there, thereafter, a low voltage and high ampere current is passed between them by using these electrodes. By using this electrode. 